What I've been noticing is that after people learn their Wing Chun, instead of spending the required amount of time on a particular subject, they're in a rush to get to the next thing. Meaning that that subject that they just learned hasn't set up. It's not inside their bones. In other words, it's, it's not ingrained. And that's a, a primary objective for everybody when you learn a Wing Chun. We don't have a lot to learn, per se. But what we do learn, we do a lot of. Okay? There's a Shaolin system, for instance, that has 900 forms. Now, obviously, you're going to spend the rest of your life just learning forms. The Wing Chun, what you learn, that little segment, whether it's the first part of the form, whether it's punching or pock or lop, whatever you're up to, the time spent on it isn't enough for it to become ingrained, which means you begin to rely on what you thought you remember how it was explained to you. So in effect, it doesn't become the Wing Chun that you learned, it becomes the Wing Chun you thought you learned. Okay, so there's a big difference. And or you're only retaining 5% of what you're hearing and applying only 5% of that 5% of what you heard to what you're doing physically. Okay, so you're missing a lot of information. Okay, so what I want to do here is is to cover from the bottom up to the intermediate stage to ensure that what you are doing is exactly what you should be doing. Um, even in my own school, I'll see all kinds of different stuff. For as many people as here, is here at any given time, that's how many different styles of Wing Chun I see. I don't see what it was that I taught. I see what it is that they are doing, not what I was teaching. Now, we only have three forms, and then we have the jong, which is an interactive form because you're, you're touching it. So we have three empty forms, the jong, the staff, and the swords, and that's it. And we have what? Punching, pocking, lop with the changes, Kwan Sao, which is done on the dummy, done against uh, double fists, and uh, the uh, Kwan Sao Jut Dao drill. Then you have Don Chi Sao. Now for each of those, we have a variation for the intermediate level of those particular drills. Okay, so when you get to Chum Kill, you'll learn the variation of the drills that you learned in the Seal and Tao level. And then you get into your double hand movements, um, you look sao, look sao jake jong, look sao jip sao, and uh, jiao sao, which is running and catching, and uh, jake jong, which is field space go forward. 